We got something up here coming up here. You're a little tippy. Oh, you're smoking. Yeah, this is like gonna be kind of cambery. Does it look tippy? Holy crap. <laughs> right now we're sitting at 24.4 degrees. That's that sketchy camber area. After you get through this part, go left out on that edge. No way, Jose. From right here, that looks like death. That's perfect. No, <laughs> that looks terrible. It's just what we want. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, no freaking way. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it as I get close down there. I don't... Did a nice little step off. If I keep driving straight, it's gonna get really sketchy really fast. That's 15.5. Holy cow, that looks... Oh, I don't know if I go that. The trailer's gonna... Better not stop. Oh my goodness. Dude, you better go, you better go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Holy crap. 16 and a half degrees, right? That looks... Yeah, I like close to the truck and trailer are like way off in the direction. There's no stopping that if that rolls. Oh boy. <laughs> that was something else. Check this out. So beautiful. Just perched up on... Gives you kind of an idea how high I am. Pretty cool. Here comes Michael going down here. There's Michael. Very cool. Check it out. All right, let's go. Let's get going. This looks pretty crazy. There's more obstacles. Okay, go forward. I'm going. Wait, wait. Gonna... Okay, go. You're gonna drop a little bit, but you should, you're gonna go on to the other rocks that I've made for you. Wait. Drop the rear bags. Be so okay, go forward a little bit. Oh, so close. Wait, 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 wait. What if you drop the rear bags? What the freak? Ow. Your butt. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Would you back up a little bit? Would you back up a little bit? More. Back up more. Keep going. A little bit more. Stop. <laughs> we're, we're gonna find out. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go forward. 
If it was the if it was the chassis, I wouldn't care. But if you bend the post on the jack, then it's gonna be broken. There you go. Keep going. No, keep going forward. Don't don't stop now. Don't stop now. Don't. Oh, it, it made it. Oh, now it's the body. Yeah. Wait, stop. Uh. Yep, you're clearing. Okay, move forward and now it's the butt. I would probably jack it up already. Okay, go forward. I think you probably will just clear it. Go hard driver or whatever. Whoa, slow. Wait, slow. Yeah, keep going. Just for a good measure. Okay, go. Yeah, I don't know if they're designed to double stack, but it's working. Yeah, keep going. I think you're, oh, there's your dropping off now. Keep going. Keep going. You're, you're good. I think you're good, Michael. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you're off. You've cleared it. You have like six to eight inches. Whoa. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah. The front's not really the problem, it's just making sure the back goes on to it. Yeah. There we go. Floating on our sand rocks. See, if we go in that way, maybe we wouldn't have as much up dip. I'm sure we get it right there. There's a lot less stuff. I can put this under you. Looks like that's fine. That might snap them. <laughs> that looks like a... That might pop out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, they're flexible. It's great. Burn it. <laughs> hey, I'm not even scraping, huh? This is good. Yeah. Wedged a rock in there. I kind of have a feeling if we're gonna do something like that, we'll do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm gonna try. You're real slow. Drop. Nope. Oh. What is it? Airbag's really low? Uh, maybe. Put oh. the truck down, put the airbags up, and just stay right there. Yeah, we're like, oh, we're firmly clear, and then all of a sudden. Well, the front was really clear, and the back wasn't very clear. Is anything broken? If anything, it'd be the poop tube. Yeah, the poop tube might. It's not that big of a deal. Now, I saw it kind of go, and then it, but just dropping that lifted it off yeah, the you, ground. You it's went, not touching anymore? Nope. You got like four inches now. You, yeah, you look like you'll be okay now. Get that gut. Dropping your truck made it fit. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're you're fine. Now. Did I actually break it? I don't know. I'll look at it. Oh, I, I hope not. They're 30 bucks. Oh, like the cap, I don't care about. I just hope I didn't break anything else. 
No, yeah, the only the, thing that hit was the poop was, tube. Was the only thing that could. Oh, really? Yeah, like the storage poop tube. Oh, the storage poop tube. Yeah. The poop cannon. Yeah, that was the only thing that thought. So recommending all hardcore off-roaders get some airbags. <laughs> I know, if you're towing trailers, because it, it allows you to teeter-totter up and down and make the clearance. We do use them quite a bit. Or don't go on deep trails. That's a better, that's a better um, that's advice. That's a smarter idea. Yes. But we don't do smart. We do fun. Definitely looks sketchy. Six degrees, seven degrees. Oh, easy. Easy, mate. Easy, mate. I think it's really huge. But it's big knowing that, ah, uh, you're not going to dip. Unless you are over 24%, and we still don't know how to yeah, I just made this turn a little bit tight and I got to 11 degrees and I was like, I'm fine. So grateful that my four wheel drive is working. Okay, let's pull over here. Wow, dude, that camber. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe, 20, almost 24 and a half degrees of camber. And we had our Starlink on, so I, I Googled Jeeps. I saw the, the uh, Jeep Gladiator's uh, supposed official camber before it tips over is 26.7. Yeah. And we were at 24 and a half almost. Yeah, I was a little worried. <laughs> three more. Yeah, three more. Degrees. And we were at a Jeep Gladiator's tipping point and we were in the pauses. That was insane. Nothing broke too much. No, we, we smushed the poop tube is all for storage, but it's not a big deal. It, oh yeah, it was, it was it, a canister so. where you store your slinky, your sewage slinky. That was just because we were up too high on the airbags on but it the didn't truck. But it didn't break it though. I don't think it broke, no. Yeah. I didn't was, see any cracks or Hey, anything. the first obstacle we hit, hit, like the first big one that you couldn't make up, mm -hmm. and I made it up it because of my uh, expert driving skills. <laughs> and lockers. <laughs> and my lockers, maybe my lockers, whatever. And a great spotter. And a great spotter. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> a great spotter, my butt. No, just kidding. Okay, so uh, we made it up that. That obstacle, I would say, is probably the most difficult obstacle we've ever taken a trailer up. Yeah, to date, for sure. I don't know if the cameras caught that obstacle as well as they could have or should have, but like, that was sketchy. The mud also made it really difficult. Yeah, if there wasn't mud, it could have been a little easier. Maybe, maybe doable, but even without mud, it's still super steep, big steps. And it was, if you were too far this way or too far that way, you might slide into a little crevice and yeah, it was, in big it trouble. Was, it was super sketchy. <laughs> so yeah, it and was it, technical and hard. Yeah, technical, hard, slide, slippery and muddy. These things articulate incredible they do so well yeah because each tire just really does its own thing well we had one tire off the ground one time on this trip mm -hmm. which we get tires off the ground like every trip like not every <laughs> trip but like a dozen times every trip right yeah so that that was really impressive i'm, I'm really impressed with the suspension the yeah, suspension's fantastic by more ride that's very 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 cool suspension and, it, right? and it's nice because you can kind of just set it then, so you have the controls i can go okay hey we should go up to 70 drop back down to 50. Yeah, you can like preset the, yep. some like off-road, on-road. You could you could do camber ones to make it sideways. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, don't know why you, I don't know why you Camber to the right, camber to the left. Yeah, we're on like trails that are different ways. If you're too nervous, you can camber the trailer. I, the negative thing I would say is it takes a long time for it to really yeah, pump up. It does take a little bit, but then 
It was nice because after one of us went, then what we knew what was coming, so you could preset ahead of time. And go, oh, okay, I'm gonna change my camber. Yeah, that's what change we were the doing. Airbags. And then you're when you got to the trail or to the obstacles, ready to go. And one I of the things I'd say that we learned, like we knew it kind of, but like it's affirmative and declared that if you're gonna take a trailer off road seriously your truck should be equipped with an airbag in the rear because that allows for so much more control. So a lot of people put airbags because they're towing anyways and they squat the truck, right? So they want to pump it up. For off-roading, I think it's necessary because what happens is when you're dipping down and the trailer's tongue is about to hit, you can pump the airbags in your truck up to 100 and that sometimes gives it a three to four inches. And then when you're coming down a different, you know, and you're the, the butt of it, is gonna drag, you can drop your airbags back down and it lifts the butt of the trailer. So it's kind of like this teeter-tottering yeah. effect, right? So airbags in the truck is awesome. Airbags on the trailers are awesome because you can lift and lower. I mean, the reality is you shouldn't take a trailer on a Jeep trail. No. That's just, there's, there's no reason. See like this spot right here, is a great camping spot for a trailer like it this. Did, but it didn't but require it does, not. Yeah, it doesn't require like obstacle climbing. To but get it here. is washboard, there is mud, there is turns and things. It, and it, so. Yeah, on a rainy day, I would not recommend. We came out here in the snow a while ago with the Romer one, and it was really scary getting out of here. But with with these, I think it's I think it's uh, manageable. I'm, so I will have to say that though, the departure angle on this is probably the best. Yeah, you can crank that up and it's... For a trailer this I mean, size. we were crawling all under it. Or not even having to crawl. Standing under the departure <laughs> angle. <laughs> the so. thing is so <laughs> massively high. The weak point on this, I would probably say, is this front. Probably pops down a little yeah, bit too far. Bit. But I, but it's 25 inches of clearance. Yeah, it's still plenty of clearance. And again, you know, we scraped it slightly here and there. And, and it's, just, it's just as capable as any other off-road trailer yeah and in some ways it has some more capability than others i was really shocked with um all the rough road we were doing that like the monitor was just chilling yeah, on the counter exactly the whole time yeah. and that was after post like the most difficult obstacle we did oh yeah it was same that with was the little bar stools we just set them on the ground yeah we set them down there and they never they moved, never moved which was just, which is shocking so the the tv was swinging around yeah, a little bit a so, so strapping that we need to figure out how to strap that better we can add a strap and secure it to the wall yeah that honestly is one of the biggest improvements that we need to make on the 20.3 <laughs> which is pretty cool yeah. and then the airbag going faster but i've been talking with maynard and he's he's the boss he's the visionary behind paws and he is working on trying to make a system for it to go faster. The reality is you don't need it to go faster. This is for camp. When, you're, when you get to camp, you push the button auto level and you... You, you walk away. Pretty much, just, yeah, walk away, go grab some things, get ready. So it's not, it being slow-ish isn't a big deal. And then leaving camp, that's the other time. You press the button. Yeah, yeah, if you're gonna go on Jeep trails like us and be ridiculous and lift it and drop it and lift it and drop it, like, yeah, but like, it's just not very, I don't think people are gonna be doing that. I, I'm still so shocked in how well the travel on the arms are. That's fantastic. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a Jeep. 12 inches, right? 12 inches, which I think the only other thing on the market that claims 12 inches is in Australia, which is Bruder. For travel, it's best in class in America with the 12 inches, which it's a lot, it's really cool. So, whew, that was this, fun. Exciting. this is Exciting. fun. This was a fun little uh, adventure. The sun is setting and I want to get some food before it gets too dark and cold outside. So shall we eat? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. That was awesome. Hey, great time. yes, it was Hope a great time. I enjoyed that and learned something. Yeah, I think there's probably a lot of learning um, opportunities in this and we definitely are always learning. Every time we go out, we're always improving our skills and our capabilities on off-roading and and it, and it was really fun. These trailers, are, are they've done phenomenal. And hey, if you want to see some full tours of these, we already have a tour on the 20.2. The 20.3 is coming, or they've already come out, so you can go check them out if you want to see a walkthrough on these trailers. But thank you for watching, and we'll uh, hopefully we'll see you on an adventure soon, right? Yeah, definitely. We're always planning adventures. Yeah, we got a Moab adventure coming here soon. So see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>